Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, The Sims Yin. My name is Yin. I play The Sims. You see what I did there? Anyway, so we have a lot of news to uncover today. I mean, I've been gone away from like the news source because I've been really trying to focus on like other gameplay, but there is a lot of things that have been dropping left from right with The Sims, and I think it's time that I've created enough news to like go ahead and do a video on it because I know a lot of you guys like my opinions on stuff. So let's get into this because I'm actually really excited to dive into what The Sims community has been doing. All right. So this morning, today at um, 8 a.m., March 10th, 2022, The Sims was like, Sue Sue, as we're teamed up with, um, to bring you an in game moods to life. Stay tuned for more information on this collaboration coming your way tomorrow, Friday, March 11th. And this is, they're doing a partnership with Logitech. If you guys don't know what Logitech is, Logitech is a, um, they're a software company. Um, and it's used for like wireless technology. And I really found it interesting that they blurred out the headphones specifically like on the thumbnail. So I thought that was really interesting as well. It's, it's really interesting because it's kind of hard to say exactly what it is when it could be so many things some people are really excited some are just a little confused on the whole topic because it's like it literally came out of nowhere and on top of that there's just so much other things that need to be fixed with this game that this kind of like partnership just came out of left field and everybody's just a little bit confused because it's like what is this what are they gonna do are they planning to add more technology into the game is this what the next pack was supposed to be or is going to be um and I don't know, based on this computer setup, I don't know, for some reason, this is just screaming Get Famous to me. So it's something that they feel like I feel like should have been updated with Get Famous or possibly even Get to Work. Again, we don't know what the pack is really about. We don't know anything about it. So it could be absolutely anything. But just based off of what I'm seeing here, it just looks like something that would have been that should have been updated anything I don't know I just as long as it's not they're not charging people for this collab I'm gonna be satisfied because at this game everything that they do should be an update everything nothing should be paid for and nothing should be like oh my gosh it's gonna be this much 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 no everything y'all drop from here on out the audacity to charge somebody like y'all better just be doing straight up updates on the game itself because right now the way sims 4 is looking look nobody's about to spend money on y'all shit because we're gonna get this pack it's gonna be like oh my gosh look at this guys it's ten dollars it's this new stuff pack or this new game pack or this new expansion it's not gonna be no damn expansion pack because we know good and well they're not gonna do that um so it could be a stuff pack um or a game pack and i'm just like y'all better not charge people i'm sorry like y'all like did you guys see the last thing that they dropped that was twenty dollars of our hard earned money and, and this is what we got and then they didn't even apologize y'all got me all the way bent so y'all they woo sims better not do it they they better not do it like, oh my gosh, I'd be so freaking pissed. Anyway, so I think a lot of people are just really confused on this whole topic because it's like, yeah, what y'all doing? Like, y'all y'all over here dropping, you know, all these marketing things left from right, but y'all still haven't fixed, you know, the base game or the game that y'all, the pack y'all just dropped. You know what I'm saying? So it just, I don't know. To me, it looks really bad on their part because I just feel like they're dragging it. Like, what are y'all doing? Like, I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see what it is, but I don't think it's going to be anything good. And I, and I, to be honest, I have a feeling that shit is going to break. Anyway, that's besides the point. Also, we've gotten to the EA Disabled, the cutest features for the My Sims 4 wedding pack, which is the dogs. I thought that was so cute. Of course, I didn't expect it to work. I'm really curious as to why they decided to remove this pack. Oh, they didn't decide to remove it. They just rushed the whole thing because they can't do shit right and they can't get their timelines in fucking order. Like, I don't know, like, what y'all want me to say. It's nothing cookie cutter here. Um, but they, um, ever since the, you know, my fourth wedding pack has been announced, just wanted to know if cats and dogs could walk down the aisle. After a rocky release of this pack with fixes promises to, to arrive this month, modders have uncovered and hidden features that the Sims team has been working on. That's why right, the ability to send your pets down the aisle. Um, so... I mean, originally, I feel like this should have been a thing to begin with, but I think that they're saying that because, um, of course, a modder is always trying to fix stuff, you know, because we modders are always fixing what The Sims 4 can't fucking do, and I don't understand, like, what, come on now, like, The Sims 4 got a whole company behind them, like, I don't understand why it's taking y'all, like, so long to, like, get your shit together, but anyway, um, 
So modders uncovered basically like there was some coding that The Sims 4 originally was supposed to do this, but they didn't. And you can tell that they rushed out the pack because they didn't have time. And so a modder was like, you know, I'm going to just do it myself. But they did realize that there was some stuff in the game, like in the coding that already had some of these features that was possible for it to do. So it just looked rushed. So not even looked rushed. It was rushed, you know, because they, they did this whole thing where they were like, Oh my gosh, no, we're going to wait one week so that everybody can play it and blah, blah, blah. And you know how the Sims team goes. They try to make excuses upon excuses upon excuses and never make any fucking sense. Um, but luckily, this modder was able to um, have pets walk down the aisle again for console. I feel for you guys. I am so... Uh, I apologize that you guys cannot download mods, okay? Look, I know what it's like, y'all, okay? I just went from, I say this all the time, but it's just because I want to make sure that you guys know, I literally went from console to PC, literally just at the beginning of this year when I started this gaming channel. So I wanna know that I 100% feel it. Like, I, I, I understand what you guys are going through. It's just not fair. Like, yes, modders are fixing something that should have been in the game to begin with, and now you guys are out of, you know, out of luck again. It, you guys are basically shit out of luck, and it's not right, and it's not fair, and I just wanted to let y'all know, I understand where y'all are coming from, and it's not right, and it sucks, and I'm sorry that y'all are going through this. Um, shout out to the modder who did create this, because this is freaking amazing, and very, very talented. Like, this is amazing. Also, um, Modders picks up unfinished aspects of The Sims 4, My Wedding Stories. More proof that EA rushed the release of The Sims 4, Wedding Stories. There's always going to be some kind of proof and things that are going on because, again, we have Modders, so we have people that can, you know, break down coding and do all that, you know, tech stuff, which I'm really impressed with. Um, but are we not fucking surprised? You know, like, are we not fucking surprised that, you know, The Sims was supposed to do something and they didn't? Like, I'm just, at this point, I'm just, like, so whatever, like, when it comes down to The Sims 4 about the things that they put out. That, that's why I'm even, like, skeptical about, you know, the tech stuff. By the way, this whole, um, com uh, this whole, uh, website is from, uh, The Sims community. And I will have his website linked down below because if you guys need, ever need any information, I mean, he, he be on it. He be on it and i'm like okay i gotta give props where it's due because this is like a whole freaking newspaper article like left from right so i definitely advise you guys check out um his website because it has everything basically that i'm covering most of the time on there as well um but yeah it's just like are we really fucking like i'm i'm just not surprised at how the sims um delivers things nowadays and it's just this is what it is you know it's just nothing new also the sims 4 also collaborated with um creators for this new tattoos <sighs> y'all again with the collabs i'm like here for it but at the same time i'm like y'all there is so much shit that needs to be fixed i'm gonna need y'all to collab on some packs that y'all already got coming that y'all already have out I don't need new stuff. We don't want more content that nobody freaking asked for. And don't get me wrong, because these ladies did an absolutely phenomenal job with what they did. I'm just saying, like, there's just, I think people are mad because there's other aspects and other things that they need to be focusing on rather than just doing another collab with other people. They need to focus on the base game itself. They need to focus on the packs that they've already released that are still broken. They keep adding more stuff to the game that nobody fucking asked for. I'm sorry. I mean, yes, we need more tattoos, but, like... Again, there's other things like that we're asking for right now. We're not, but I get it. They're trying to, you know, celebrate um, Women's International Day and all this stuff. And then, you know, they brought on some women to to do tattoos and for The Sims 4. And I'm I'm here for it. I'm really uh, th this is awesome. But again, I'm just like, what are y'all doing? Y'all y'all focus is uh, is so wrong because like like I said, they're trying so hard with this marketing that it's just backfiring in their face. Like it's just so bad. Like The Sims 4 is bringing a new selection of quite possibly the oldest peers and definitely the most permanent form of self-expression to the base game so probably to recognize leading woman in the industry we've worked with four amazing tattoo artists who are shaping the future of tattoos you make the sims a series that spots like creators across the world who inspire us these women have developed a collection of special tattoos more than skin deep for a creative sim that will be available through the sims delivery express i haven't even updated my sims game since this came out so i already know i'm gonna have to do like a slight little update before i even do a let's play so uh, that's great but Anyway, like I said, I think this is really dope, and I think it's, like, I mean, it's cool and all, but it's like, uh-uh-uh, um, Sims, y'all playing too many games, and I'm getting real over it, and the Sims just be dragging stuff, like, what are, okay, like, I don't know, I, I just, 
I have mixed emotions about this whole thing. And then personally, all these tattoos are not my style at all. And if this is your style, go for it. I mean, this is what, you know, The Sims is about is creating something that's supposed to be, that represents you and you can do what you want with it. It's supposed to be, you know, it don't represent everybody because... Well, you know, The Sims is just lazy as fuck. Anyway, so there is that. But I'm really excited that they, you know, decided to do this. But I'm also just like, yeah, again, there's other things that need to be fixed. And they're focusing on the wrong things per usual as usual. I mean, none of us are really surprised, right? And then just to wrap this up, I did want to go back into Logitech and see exactly what Logitech is about. I do know they make, like, really good stuff. Like, just, like, you know, keyboards, microphones, headsets. They, like, collab with people to do things like this. So I'm wondering, do you guys think the next pack could be something technology based or like you know they're waiting till tomorrow to announce that a new pack is coming i'm very curious as to see what they're going to do with this whole situation because i mean there's a lot to live up to because y'all are already promising something brand spanking new and it's like y'all just the the last thing y'all just dropped was not a good look for y'all at all whatsoever and now all of a sudden y'all drop another thing you know what i'm saying so i wonder what they are going to do you know what i mean it's all I, it's definitely going to be some type of technology based like thing like whether it's like a technology based pack or like just to get and i also wonder is this going to be base game i don't know because when i did go on to the sims 4 um site and they still have like this uh third one extra to the max i wonder if this lodge tech um thing that they're releasing has anything to do with this pack coming out next i don't know i don't know what y'all think um are y'all excited for this um to drop because i'm really not to be honest i'm just gonna i'm like whatever at this point anything that zim drops i have literally no expectations and very low expectations for anything that they drop and i mean you can't really be mad at me for that because at the end of the day they the things that they've been dropping the things that they have been doing is just not it and i just i don't know they really need to get their shit together so we'll see let me know down in the comments what you guys think all this means how do you guys feel about the tattoos that were coming out do you think that i mean yes they're awesome but do you think that they should have been more focused on base game are you guys just like no they just need a whole new marketing system and like you're kind of glad that they're like reaching out into other things like let me know down below and also what do y'all think of this whole like you know partnership with logitech and the sims 4 i'm very curious because also they did like you know blur out the um the headphone set and i wonder what that's about but anyway i do think it's going to be like something technology based and if it is and if it, if it has anything to do with something that should have been along with get famous i'm gonna be a little salty and i'm gonna be a little irritated but y'all let me know down in the comments of, co of course because i love talking to you guys because like i said i have no friends that play the sim so it's really cool to have like a community to talk to you guys also um don't forget it is like your last day today to enter um all you have to do is be subscribed and following my instagram to enter um a pack a giveaway that i am going to be doing for hitting 1000 subscribers because i'm so excited y'all are so sweet but anyway guys i'll see you guys on the next video see you later bye